It's an incredible story of survival. A local woman who was shot in the face by an ex-boyfriend is speaking out tonight about the dangers of domestic violence. More than 12 million people are victims of violence by a partner each year in the U.S. That's according to a study done by the CDC. New at 11, our Brendan King speaks to the mother of two about the night she thought she was going to die and how she's relearning how to live blind. And she shares her message for those in abusive relationships. I said, basically, I just, I feel for everything. At 41 years old. And listen. Selena Spurlock navigates life in a new way. I know that's start because it's, it's a different texture. Last November, the mother of two says her ex-boyfriend, Marcus Holman, arrived at their home in King William County after a night of drinking. When he came home, I just didn't want to deal with it. So I told him, you know, I wasn't letting him in. When he wouldn't leave, she calls non-emergency. And within seconds, she says he shot at the bathroom window with a shotgun. I flew back. Um, I had a loud ringing in my ear. My daughter wakes up, comes running in, screaming. But I grabbed the towel before she runs in and wrap my face up because I feel, you know, blood running down my face. Paramedics rushed her to a helicopter that flew her to VCU Medical Center where she spends a week in the ICU. The blast broke her nose and injured her hand. Some pellets still lodged in her face, leaving her blind. Right after he shot me, I just, you know, prayed that God keep me here, you know, for my kids because I wasn't sure if I would survive or not. Basically, Braille is made of up six dots. Now Spurlock learns how to live again. Dot two is B. Dot three is C. How to read, cook, and walk. This is the edge. And basically, you're just supposed to use a swiping motion. I asked Spurlock, what is the hardest part of her new life? Not being able to see my kids grow up. I mean, I can physically, I can touch them and feel how they're growing, but not being able to visually see them. Or if I'm gonna have grandkids, or if I'm gonna get married, or if they're gonna get married, that's the hardest. Holman's attorney, Brent Jackson, told me on Thursday that his client is apologetic and claims he was not aware that Spurlock was at the window and did not intend to injure her. But hopefully, you know, somebody will see my story and it'll encourage them to leave. She says Holman hurt her before and should have left the relationship before he changed her forever. Any kind of abuse, whether it's, you know, verbal and mental, physical, all of those affect you. You just have to know your worth and walk away. Marcus Holman was charged with malicious wounding and several gun charges. Right now, he's sitting in jail awaiting trial. He's due back in court again in August.